This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Audible. I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. Welcome to Techzilla, hands-on reviews of the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear you've already got. Whether you're a beginner or tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or how Commander Shepard ended up forming an alliance between the Krogans, Turians, and Solarians, we've got an answer for you. And if we don't, we'll track down someone who does or a really frightening Penny Arcade cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that one wasn't particularly frightening. Yeah. The one before that about the Kinect. I didn't see that kids. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show I you gotta later. keep up on my comics. I'm bad with that. You wanna see something amazing? What? This is my new favorite case mod in forever. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, we found this up on uh, digitaltrends.com. Sputnik 0667. Get retro with PC case mods, right? It looks like a freaking radio, a clock That's radio hot. from the 60s. I love it. Kind of has a bit of a HAL 9000 feel to it, too, on the, on the right hand side. The big, let me see if I can get the big button on the front to show up. Of course, the interwebs are being slow, and there's much flash advertising. But you know, it's kind of crazy. You look at it, and there's all this really nice mm. detail. They managed to keep things. But, you know, it's it definitely it's like the total 60s. Well, except for the the lock, <laughs> it's got a total 60s design thing. And you look inside the case, and they got some this, and they got some that, and they built the keyboard into an enclosure. Oh, I'd love to get my hands on that. That's fun. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting if you check out. Uh, it's by a Swedish artist called Love Helton, and it's definitely not Mr. Holton's or Ms. Holton's first mod. So if you kick on over to their website, which is uh, loveholton.com, and you click on artifacts, and let's see if I can find it. Of course, they've got There's a camera case too in there. Yeah, where did it go? 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 Oh, hmm. not Claire de Lune, not the lamp. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's actually it's kind of funny. It's a wooden camera case for the iPhone. Mm -hmm. So he's actually <laughs> packed, or she has actually packed the iPhone in there, the K-Raid Six. I don't know if you could really fit that in your pocket. This is a MAME it's, console. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Very cool. I love it. Yeah, this is like that's gorgeous. Steampunk meets Mame. They um, can't be. They can't be cheap. So what's the, what's the deal with this situation up here? Okay, so okay, if if you open up an LCD flat panel, right? This mm -hmm. one happens to be off of the desktop, but you have the panel itself. So right here we have the glory of the LCD panel. This one we use for a, a, a system project. But you, you see how you can see kind of see my T-shirt or see my hand behind the panel? Oh yeah. Right. So. The control for the individual pixels are on the side, and then you have some crazy Fresnel lenses that help focus the light through the panel. You from... could probably see a little bit better if it weren't so dusty. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but, but you know, basically, you've got layers of of of, of you know lenses that focus the light and mm -hmm. direct the light, and then you've got the backlight, and this is what lights it up in this particular case off of the big desktop monitor. But you actually have crazy little lamps built into this thing. Um, Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's also really funny because they're really hard to see, but basically the light is directed into the panel and the light is guided by the Fresnel lens as it comes out through, in this case, the incredibly dusty panel here. But if the backlight goes out, right? Yes, that's a problem, which brings us to yeah. Mark's question. <laughs> he says, I have a 17-inch HP G60 519WM laptop that I picked up on Black Friday several years ago for $300. The screen no longer lights up, but I can see a faint image when I hold a bright light near it. The unit functions normally when I hook it up to an external monitor. I assume the LCD's backlight is the issue. Is it worth paying to have it fixed? Is there a do-it-yourself repair that I can try on the cheap? Or should I just spend the money on a new one? Thanks. Mark from South Florida. Well, the short answer is do not pay to have this laptop fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy a newer, faster laptop than less than the cost of a replacement LCD. And, you know, of course, having that labor done. Especially since you only paid 300 bucks for it in the first right. place. I you mean, you the, definitely got it on the cheap. He's like, I got this laptop, Black mm -hmm. Friday sale, Walmart. It's lasted. Now, now the screen's dead. Or, yeah, you could just plug in an external monitor too. If you mm -hmm. still have, if, if everything else about the laptop is still working, just use it as a desktop machine, as a docked Absolutely. desktop. I mean, it's if it's working fine for you otherwise, I don't see why not. If you have a monitor laying around, 
or if you can find a monitor cheap. For less than two, 300 bucks. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because it's... getting it fixed. Well, I mean, it's, it's crazy, right? Because when you look at this, if you have some mechanical ability, you take your time, you take mm -hmm. some pictures along the way and can actually find parts that will work with your notebook, you can probably replace the screen yourself. Just make sure, as always, you back the data up first. Um, you know, we showed you before the segment all the parts in there, and inside of a notebook, all of those LCD panels are buried inside of here. Um, and it's not trivial, right? Best case scenario, you've got a MacBook, you find super detailed instructions up on Fix It. For most PC owners, you're basically going to have to fumble your way through figuring out how to get the panel open. In this case, it turned out the bezel on this particular, oddly enough, HP notebook. Uh, this is not my notebook, by the way, so I'm not responsible <laughs> for the fingerprints. But not only is the plastic locked in place, but the bezel is glued to the screen. So you end up having to get, like, seven so screws. You're really taking this thing to task. I mean, it is not going to... It is, it is not survive this well. trivial. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you go into like, there's generic instructions on the web, mm -hmm. like insidemylaptop.com has some, some, you know, pretty good set of instructions, like how to replace the CCFL backlight bulb in a laptop screen. Um, and Instructables has some good, you know, generic instructions on, on how to replace uh, your laptop's backlight. You know, you can search around LCD parts nets is uh, LCD parts .net has a lot of stuff for if you want to find like CCFL backlights you can modify to fit in. And these are crazy little tubes like for, for desktop monitors and stuff. Mm -hmm. CCFL for laptops. And you can basically try to match your part in there. If you need an entire panel, right, uh, eBay is really great because there's a lot of places out there that actually salvage the, the, the actual panels outside of notebooks. So, you know, 85 or 100 bucks for the flat panel. The trick is, though, is getting that part you found on eBay or some other site inside the notebook. If you're really lucky, you pop the bezel off, which in this case, really lucky means detaching the seven screws and the glue and the... 38 different locations where the bezel snaps into the plastic. And unless anybody thinks I'm being like cruel, this is this is how it's done, and this is probably how your local computer store is gonna do it. They're gonna guess their way through well, it at 75 or 100 bucks an hour. Slightly disturbing. Yeah, so I get that out and and there's you know some glue, you know, once you've got that, then there's more screws to get the panel out. And then there's this, and this is actually an easy one, right? Because I can actually take the bezel off and get to the hinges and undo the panel, the CFL controller. You know, there's a couple ribbon connectors in there. Um, or you, in some cases, you can swap the entire back of the notebook. Worst case, though, you have to literally pull the entire machine apart so you can pull the lid and bezel apart so you can replace the screen. So it's, this is a challenge, and eh, that's assuming you can even find a screen or a backlight right. that will work in your notebook. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You, 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 you not only need the right size, but you actually need one that will work with the controller that's on the main board mm -hmm. of your notebook. So this is not for the faint hearted. Yeah, this is one of those places where eBay can probably really come in handy, come to the rescue for you. Um, try not to spend too much on that screen. Uh, you, if you can pick it up, if you, you can pick up a regular new notebook for $500 or $600 or even right. less on eBay. So just take some time, look around, try to figure yeah. out what's going to work best for you in this scenario. I think our recommendation would probably be to either use an external monitor or just get a new laptop. Yeah. Just get a new laptop. Un unless you're really excited about the prospect of dealing with all this and possibly finding out that it's not just the the backlight, but it's also both. the controller. You could do both. You could do both. You know, yeah. try yeah. if you if you if you don't have to spend too much money, or if you just want to dig in and, and see what the issue is, <laughs> go see for what it. The issue is. Just and then buy a new laptop. <laughs> just don't spend five hundred dollars getting a three or four year old yeah. laptop repaired. All right. Yeah. Uh, hey, we want your questions. If you've got a tech question that you want answered by us, why don't you send us in a video or an email? Texella at revision3.com is the email address. And we've got more to come, including a chat with Anthony Carboni from New Challenger about everything he saw at GDC. But first, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Audible.com, people. It's the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. It's amazing. If you want to listen to the best books out there, you have to check out Audible.com. Over 100,000 titles to choose from. You can download them to your iPod, your MP3 player. You can play them back anywhere, anytime. You keep them forever. Books in every genre. Science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history. I love listening to history on road trips. One of my favorites, David McCullough, 1776. This incredible book about the birth of the United States. And if you want to listen to it, it's amazing. It's super convenient, I, especially when I'm commuting, right? I'm in the car. I got something interesting, engaging, soothing, keep my eyes on the road, my hands up on the wheel. 
Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla. It's great. We're going to give you a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Do us a favor, support Techzilla by supporting our sponsors like audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla. And in this case, you get a free prize, a treat, a book you can listen to and keep forever. It's pretty awesome. 